Hello, Let's ladies go. and gentlemen. Welcome to NBOT. That's nobody on time. You know it. I know it. Your great grandmother, third removed, knows it. It's me. It's me. It's just Sal hanging out with the man who puts the E in guacamole. It's Enrique. First off, I don't eat guacamole, but thank that's you why for it's that awesome. Introduction. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> but yeah man what's up dude what is, what is this 77 x 70 x <laughs> 70 x we're I, here i don't even know but we hit 113 i'm pretty sure we're we're moving along man we're chugging we had one of our bonus episodes go out today which is really nice got a huge amount of chatter on it so that's cool yeah, yeah this is that. this is episode 77 that's awesome mm -hmm. that is awesome yeah good we're stuff at 80 buddy yeah, I mean we're we're past eighty if you count the bonuses. Oh, the bonuses, that's correct. Yeah, we are past yeah. eighty. But uh, yeah, for 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 pure baseline content, yeah, we're we're right there behind the door of eight zero. Very cool stuff. Well, Thank you to everyone for uh, for yeah, kicking in there with us. We we really appreciate it. You guys have been the best. Uh, it's been climbing and growing slowly, organically, and we love it like that. You know, we don't want to go out and pay for subs and all that stuff. So it's been growing very organically, and we appreciate you guys. Yeah, we're not ready to dump money into the Instagram bots and have them do their <laughs> thing. I'm, I'm going to stay as far away from Skynet as much as I can. So I did it one time, and Sal slapped my hand and said, don't you do that. I was like, you don't need to do that. It's too early. It's too early for that. I was just so excited, but we can't get, even I spell our first. names right. Like, let's uh, let's get that first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, man, how was your day today, man? Oh, today sucked, bro. <laughs> today, <laughs> today was today was absolutely atrocious. It, it 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 was bad. It was bad. It's it started bad before it even started, because you know the midnight to like two a.m. thing, which I thought I was good and done with. Because there are, one of our retail clients finally stepped out. The contract closed smoothly. And um, I was like, cool, I don't have to worry about anything. And then, boom, dispatcher calls me at midnight. Uh, officer calls me at 1, 1 30. I'm getting phone calls at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, why do I even sleep? Sleep stupid, right? It's overrated. Right. So Overrated. And then, uh, yeah. My boy, my boy snuck out of the bunk bed and he got oh. in, he got into the into our bed. So I'm like, well, now I can't turn, I can't move because I'm a big like I'm a big turner. Yeah. So I can't turn when I'm sleeping because I'm gonna squish him. <laughs> so I'm like, even though he's between us, I'm like, well, I guess we're gonna put a little like pillow wall around him so he doesn't, you know, flip off the bed or whatever because he moves around a little bit. He's a little starfish, and uh, I end up going to the couch. Which is horrible for my back. I have to repack our cushions. You know, shout out to uh, <laughs> sh shout out to Cushion Stacker man, and um, so I have to do that. My so my ba my back's not feeling it. Right. I get I get woken up by the calls. My wife uh, left her uh, cell phone in the kitchen, so her alarm wakes me up because it's like it's right there. I hear it like resonating right there. Um, then, you know, the kids wake up like an hour after that, so her alarm goes off at about 5.30. Kids wake up at about 6.30. My mom's in the door at about 7.30. I'm like, I just, I'm like okay, whatever. Just whatever. I'm done. Whatever. <laughs> I'm dealing with call-offs at one of our um, bank locations, call-offs at one of our retail locations, one of our other retail, like our my main client for retail Yes. Uh, at a new site is calling me not the client themselves but the supervisor at one of the bigger sites now is like hey why do i have so many people here i'm like yesterday you were complaining about having the bare minimum today you're complaining about being overstaffed because i overstaffed you to avoid the bare minimum like do you what do you want what do you want dude? <laughs> and if you tell me more money i'm gonna block your number so like this is and That's of course, the answer every time. Yeah, it's more money. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, Sal, just for five more dollars, I'll stay. I don't have to transfer." I was like, "Well, I, <laughs> first of all, it's it's you understand the security is contract based. I can't permanently give you five more dollars an hour. Over the last three years, you've gotten like probably close to a four and a half dollar increase, which is unheard of at your level." Absolutely. Um, I'm like, so unless you want to go back to where you started. Uh, how about you just wait until we get your person like in there trained and approved by the client so that we can get it going? Because he's getting ready to, to transfer for real. Because he already, I think he already accepted a post uh, downtown. So 
I was like, cool, cool. And he's like, hey, man, when am I getting out of here? I go, you know, every third day we talk about this. And it's when I have a candidate that can clear through the onboarding process, that can get trained by you appropriately in a, in a, a, a sufficient amount of time, which is, you know, two to four working days, and that the client approves of. Because I'm not going to play this game where I just throw someone there and then two days later they say, oh, I don't like them anymore. Because I've already done that dance with these people. I don't, I don't need to do that all over right. again. Okay, I don't need, I don't like the hokey pokey. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with just sitting there by the punch. I'm good. So, I was like, today was. You got to turn your body around. You got to do the hokey pokey, baby. No, man, you'll see me. I'll, I'll, I'll tap my toe. But like, I'm, I'm thirsty. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I came to drop off my wife so that she can go dancing. She loves dancing. I love dancing too. I just don't want to dance with this client because they suck. But anyway, so, so I'm, I'm dealing with that, <laughs> right? So he's like bombarding me with text messages about how he wants more money, and I'm like, "You're getting more money at the site you're transferring to. Just train the guy that I send out to you today, tomorrow, and Friday. And if he's good enough, he'll think about it over the weekend because he, he does still have to accept the position. It's not just he gets thrown into it and that's it. Because he could say no on Monday, and then you're still here Monday." So keep that in mind. Keep that in the front of your brain. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, just kind of dealing with, um, you know, my, my co-worker's book of business. Because a lot of those people don't know that she's on PTO. Um, and, and nor would they. Because, you know, we don't send mass. We don't have, like, a thing to send mass messages, right. messages anymore. Um, her, I guess her email wasn't on autorespond. So a lot of people have been emailing her and it's not going anywhere. It's just going to her. Um, a lot of people have been texting her and they're getting the response back. Please leave me alone. I'm on PTO. <laughs> so <laughs> No. Is yeah, that what it said? Yeah, that was one of them. Yeah, that was one of them. Was, oh, I, I was okay. like, hey, well, she said please and she used a period. It's not all caps. So I'm like, she's being nice. That's that's a professional way to say it. <laughs> like you could you could say it very differently like an exclamation point changes everything so exclamation point does yeah oh my god but uh i was like oh that's a that's an interesting way to put it and instead of like offering yeah. alternative contact numbers and people to talk to so that they stop but it is what it is i mean everyone approaches it differently so that, that was it's, a fun thing to read i guess it's it's fitting right i mean that's kind I'm, of it, it i'm no job. i mean that's her she's turning to leave she talks about how she wants to have like a different approach she kind of wants to change things up and you know she doesn't like the the um what is it the the theater mask of the the, the sour you know person but right. like her saying yeah hey i please stop contacting me period i'm on pto thank you i was like that's if if you were to put that as like a blank text message i don't know who sent it i would never have pegged her for that one Gotcha. So I was like, cool, uh, that's fine. And then, uh, yeah, and then we, we get to start our actual day with probably <laughs> the most interesting and unique scenarios I've ever dealt with because I've never dealt with it before. Um, it's a completely new, new uh, combination of a leave of absence, a workman's comp, uh, an incident report, an injury. Uh, it was... It was uh, it was pretty nuts, and I was not really prepared for it. Um, I don't know if you want to take the lead yeah, on this one. I'll, so. take, I'll take this one over. <laughs> I feel so, like I'll say too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's 6.30 in the morning. I get a phone call from my site uh, lead who tells me, hey, we had an incident happen last night. Some guy uh, apparently broke his arm and went to the hospital. Oh God. Okay. So yeah. he's like, Real yeah, casual. but Real casual. There, there, yeah. He's like, Hey, there's a twist. I said, oh, and I'll, I will sound asleep. Like I get up at six, I wake up Caesar and then I go back to sleep to wait for Noah to get up, you know? So like I'm in, in between that. So I'm like, okay, I'm kind of, I'm like, wait, what, what kind of twist could it be? Like I broke his arm or he didn't. Oh no, he <laughs> broke his arm. Uh, but he's like, uh, after reviewing camera, he told us that he fell down a flight of stairs while doing a round. I said, okay, uh, I guess you're not, you're not catching the stare or whatever. Okay, missed your footing. He's like, no, it's not what happened. Uh, when I review video, I see him in the cafeteria, and he's arm wrestling with the janitor, which is another third party, and I have video of where the actual break happens. 
where he's in this pain and, and this this just anguish. And I see exactly on video where it happens. And I said, I, I need the video. Please send me the video because, like, this is ridiculous. I, I In a thousand years, in, in the 30 years that I've been doing this, 20 whatever, I have never heard someone saying I broke my arm and tried to claim workman's comp over, you know, arm wrestling. Yeah. Like, I was, I was floored. So I get to the office. I tell Sal, like, hey, we've got a thing or whatever. We've got to, you know, do a, a workman's comp claim. And then I tell him what is suspected. And he's like, he's laughing. I'm laughing. I light up. Like, Come on. Like, this is, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Like, what, what the H E double, you know, hockey yeah. sticks. And then we get the photo. I couldn't <laughs> yeah. get the video. I couldn't get the video because the client just didn't want to release their video to us, but they were allow us to have snippets of the video. When I tell you the first picture I open up is this guy head full back in anguish and pain in his face. The the yell it was almost Braveheart esque. Yeah, you know, at the end, you know, yeah. he just he's it's it, it is the funniest picture you will ever see of this guy where you can tell he is in a ton of pain. And I don't mean to laugh. This is not a laughing matter. But when you try to be fraudulent with something and you get caught, this is like those videos of like where the where the criminals get caught, right? Like yeah. how stupid can you be? Yeah. Like, so like really, stupid. you're gonna run from the cops and jump into the trash can that's right next to him? Like they're gonna look oh in there. Oh my man. god. So and then one of the other like the other photos are him on the ground, like holding his arm. Yeah. And then the other photo is the guy who broke his arm. Like he feels bad. His whole body stance, body language is telling me he feels bad of what he just did to this guy. Yeah, he looks like and he's trying to way, comfort him by doing he nothing. He's like, he's like, break my arm too, so we, we could be even. Like, yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. I could, I could. Because that dude, that dude's gonna saying. get fired. First of all, <laughs> oh, that, absolutely. That janitor. Is. I don't understand how anyone survives this. I, no, I, I don't can't. understand how the janitor maintains their 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 position, their poster job, whatever. After a clearly not doing your job, b causing harm to to another person. Maliciously or not, like that's that's crazy. I'm telling you, it's like when you're in kindergarten and like you hit someone and they start crying. You're like, hold on, I'm like, don't don't be yeah, too dude, loud. Like you start patting yeah. their backs and stuff. Like, no, I don't want to get in trouble. Like, relax. Like, no, that's what it looked like on those yeah. photos. Yeah. Just we, just open open arms, open hands. Like, oh, I'm <laughs> like, do I catch you? And the and the dude the the dude who who snapped his arm, who's like one of our you know one of our employees. The pictures, I mean, obviously this like outburst of anguish, this this muted, you know, silent anguish photo. And then he, the next photos are like how Enrique said it, the dude's on the floor in one and it's full on Gumby. It's a Gumby arm, like straight out. You remember, was it when the, the first Harry Potter? Or no, it's not the first oh, one. Yeah, it's, no, uh, it, was. it was. It was the first one. Where he's got that gimpy was, arm. Yeah, he's got the gimpy arm. They try to repair it. <laughs> Actually, no, that's right. the Chamber of Secrets. It's Chamber of Secrets because it's it with the was, it's yes. with the famous guy who it's has with, the, the yes. memory spells or whatever. That's funny how that hit us at the same time. But yeah, when he goes <laughs> to try to fix it and it just it turns into like a Gumby arm, yeah. it's just kind of floating there. Yes, you're right. He's like, oh, I think I heard it. Oh no, Potter, <laughs> let me try and fix it. Zibbly, zibbly, though, and it's bleh. I have the exact spell yeah, to create that. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. So that that I mean that hit us with so much humor at, at like I laughed so hard when I saw the photo and I'm like Sal you got to come see this. He's like did you get something? I said yeah and then he's like can I just put it as my wallpaper? Yeah, and I was like I'm oh. pretty sure if you send me these photos I'm going to get fired. I'll get fired too cuz I'm going to put it as my wallpaper cuz it's just it's too it's so oh crazy God. and it's like a perfect placement because you only see like it's that the the way that it's like panned out right. is you have it's a lot same, of dead yeah. space between his head and the top of the picture, and it's just like him in the bottom in the middle. So I'm like, that just be a little dude in the corner of like my of my uh, wallpaper screen or whatever. Uh, it's very oh, it's very like, crazy. It's very funny. It is it is meme ready. Like yeah, all that, I can that's hear, probably like, all a better memes, thing. That, like it is meme ready yeah. because like I I just see like the subtitles like this is the the part where I I realize I effed up. Yeah. Like that's what should be on this photo of how bad this looks. Yeah. And it it is so hilarious. And look, the guy's in the hospital. He's he's having stuff done. I get it. it but the stupidity behind trying to hide 
that you were arm wrestling while on duty. It's like you, to say you, you work felt... there, man. Like you know where the cameras are. You're you in, know you're the camera in, placements. You, it, for this for this specific location, the the area that they ended up like quote taking a break to arm wrestle each other is probably the most public area that's in this building. And it's the it's most the heavily room. lighted area in this yes. building. And they got it's like a it's like a giant break slash lunchroom. You have like six cameras there alone. They got you from four different angles, bro. Like that's and also the snacks. The amount yeah. of snacks behind them where it was ridiculous. Yeah, and also what just why? Just why? Why are you arm wrestling the janitor? Did you see him push a broom too hard and you need to flex? He well, probably I just, saw his muscles flexing is, is, while is, he was sweeping. Did the janitor recently get like acquisition to your son, and this was the only way you knew how to get him back? Or... Oh, okay. <laughs> he didn't turn the hand around, so clearly that's why he lost. Around. He didn't go over the top. No, he did. He had no <laughs> idea what he was doing. He just got but like this. He, I have he, to file this with one of the dumbest things I've ever dealt with. In I've never, I, I've never dealt with it ever. And it's like, so we had a moment of humor where we're like, did that really happen? That's crazy. Like world star crazy, like cops stuff. Right. right. And, then, and then it came to a point where it's like, well, what do we like? What do we, you and I actually do? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, I have to file the, the workman's comp because he got injured while on duty. Like I have to do that. Right. Yep. And I'm like, you have to contact the head of HR and then you have to contact the head of our branch. And then we have to contact the people that like set up a leave of absence for a medical reason. Cause he's going right. through a surgery. I'm like, there's yeah. very simple check marks in, in theory, but um, like, then you have to double that all up with, by the way, there's a caveat of this potentially being fraudulent. And then oh, how absolutely. do you like do I need to create a follow-up incident report for the for the fraudulence? How far am I allowed to go there? Do I if I go investigative, do I get the police involved with it? Because technically the only way to acquire like video from company to company, like we're a third party company working for you know the people that run the building. You, you're normally supposed to have, unless there's emergency purposes with it, you normally need like a warrant to acquire stuff like that, unless the right. client wants to give it to you as a courtesy, which again, that has its own series of paperwork that you have to go through to, to get. So it was like, it's a very like, okay, like let's, let's pause real life and let's turn on work mode. How do we, yeah, act, right. what are the actual steps of getting this? I'm like, oh, I'll do right. half and you do the other half and we'll meet at. <laughs> The, the head of the branch, and we'll try and figure it out from there. The oh crap moment after we realized we were done laughing, and we're like, oh, we have to do something here. I was like, you know how much paperwork we actually have to do now? Like, there's just a lot. Like, it, it was it was a very well-written... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you and then it sounds me? like, can I identify fraud on the, on the claim? And I'm like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I don't do that on the workman's comp claim because it's real. Like, that happened, but... I think on your side, you have to do that. I don't know. But if they give me yeah. an option, I'll just check the box. Yeah, that's what I told you. It was a, it was a check-in of a box and then bring them in for a statement and let's see what we get out of them. I am so waiting for the the meeting of him coming in and sitting down in front of me and telling me exactly what happens, not knowing that I know. So, like, that is going to be everything. Yeah. I can't wait for that. For, for that to happen, for him in my office... I've had several times where I've had to interview people when I knew the facts and they were not going to tell me the truth. And I had to, you know, I had to just get the truth out of them. I had to extract it. Like this was going to be like my favorite. Like I am so ready for it. Like it is. I've had a guy one time where we had him on, on my like camera stealing gas and he would not admit it. And I, I finally got him to admit it. It was like the, one of the best feelings um, because we didn't actually have the footage similar to this, but at least this one, I've got snippets. The other one, they were just like, yeah, it's him, but we can't give you anything. So I had yeah. to, without evidence, I had to get him to confess, which was, was you know, amazing. I, in ironically itself. that but you bring that up. This one's going to be awesome. Ironically that you bring that up. I, too, have had an officer uh, steal gas from a client, and uh, that I got a very fuzzy version of, like, the photo from afar, like an exterior yeah, old yeah, yeah. camera. And um, I get told, oh, yeah, that's definitely him. This is the guy. That's his car. He just rolls up to it like it's nothing. 
And I'm like, okay, well, let me see the photo. So, because you can't just, I mean, everyone is um, allowed to confront the people that, that claim them for stuff like that. So I was like, let me see it. And thinking in my head, you know, I automatically go into, um, you know, I'm union guy. I'm going to defend my guard until I'm red in the face. Right. And uh, I see it and I'm like, I, I know his car. Uh, that's definitely his car because it has distinct like markings on it. I go that it's a fuzzy version of him, but like I get it. So we have to bring him in, and I'm like, you know, what's going on? How you doing? You know, how's the site going? You've only been there for about you know two months. I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, we're just going back and forth, like it's nothing. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, they got they got like a tanker out there and whatnot. And he goes, oh yeah, you know, I there's a one time I was really low on gas and I filled up. And I'm like, oh, okay, so you thought we were just being chummy. And you, then you just admit it to something really bad. So you got you have to go now. Sorry. Thanks for that, though, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's like when people shoot themselves in the foot, they don't do the six-shooter. They go full shotgun no, and just that's right. all four toes are gone. And all you got is that big toe, and that's it. Uh, yeah. Good yeah. luck, good luck balancing them. I don't know how. I don't know how you're gonna climb climb anything at that point, but oh, yeah. So God. crazy, crazy, crazy. It was a lot of crazy things happening today. Yeah. And again, that was like the beginning of our our work day. That, really. Right. Right. Then it That's just developed into everything else. So we're getting we we just got notification that we're grabbing two more retail sites that are associated with the client that I work with closely. Right um that's gonna be great because it'll bring my hours back to you know where they were which is nice so a nice little loop to just roll right into it but of course i can't help myself <laughs> and i just do this to myself apparently all, all the time all the gonna... time yeah so we get told about how xyz is happening and we're trying to figure it out we're uh, i'm looking at it more than i need to so i see um i see the issue and I'm looking at the schedules, and I'm like, first of all, these schedules are horrendous. There's people everywhere when they shouldn't be. Like, it's very mismatchy. Uh, there's open shifts here. There's open shifts there. People called off, and it hasn't been cleared in the books, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what's what's going on? Like, what is actually happening? And uh, I get told that, um, oh, yeah, you know, I get to it every other day. And I'm like, well... When is every other day? Because you haven't updated these schedules all year. It's a, it's the same thing. I'm looking at all the way back to January 1st. Oh, well, you know, I don't get the, the actual schedules from the, the, the supervisors that are, that are there until, um, until like, th Wednesdays. I'm like, okay, but it's been, like, eight Wednesdays. Like, we're in mid-February, late February. What, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, well, you know, the, the Pluto system isn't really working well because Site 1 and Site 2 share an address, but they're technically two different spots. I'm like, okay, what is, I was like, what, I was like, what does that have to do with you going through the schedule daily to make sure right. that people are getting paid correctly? This is why you're getting automated payment issues because you're not updating their roster correctly. So they're not getting funds available to them through like an app system, a third party system, which they should be able to because you're not oh, right. doing that. So I was like, yeah. you're not doing that. I go, so why are there openings in the schedule? Like the work, the day-to-day -day schedule. Oh, well, people called off and we're overstaffed on purpose. I go, okay, well, clear out those openings then. All I right. could do it right close, now. Close it. Yeah, close oh, it. you know, I wait until, I'm like, there's no waiting. There's no waiting. You need to get it done because we get dinged on this daily. So like, you got a lot of, you got a lot of stuff to do. I'm like, you better, and you got to clean up before you leave. Cause I'm not cleaning this up for you. That's not my job. It's yours. Because he's going on PTO at the beginning of the month. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, I, I bring my laptop with you, uh, with me wherever I go. I go, first of all, you don't need to do that. And I get that, like, like it's just poor timing that you're going on PTO, which was scheduled way in advance, yeah, at, yeah, just yeah. at the time that we're transitioning to me, you and I acquiring this. I get that. But, like, if you were to just do this day by day like you're supposed to, you wouldn't need to problem. take your laptop anywhere. I go, and you're remote four out of five days a week anyway. So what are you talking about? Right. Oh, well, you know, I get phone calls at one o'clock. I'm like, we all do, bro. We all do. You deal with 
literally 10% of what I deal with. Your, your, your numbers are nothing compared to what the operation team actually handles. So whoop de do you have to deal with 30 people? Big, big effing deal. I deal right, with 8x, right. 8, eight yeah. 10x the amount of people you deal with who all call me like that. Like I'm literally in my garage dealing with it as we speak. Like get out of here. So whatever. So he's he's just giving me the runaround. Then I send emails out because I'm like, oh, this this looks really weird aesthetically. It's more of just like my Tetris. Like I don't like the way this looks. Why do you separate? <laughs> why do you separate the? You have this guy like who does who apparently he does scheduled overtime every day to like prep the team. So I'm like, okay, so you've agreed to give him 15 minutes extra every day that you're billing as overtime. So right. like the company's not, or the client's not paying for it. We're paying for it. But I'm like, why do you have separate lines? Like you can, you know, in in one entry, you can have multiple like versions of like, here's my regular pay. Here's overtime pay. Here's non-billable pay. Like you can do that. Like, why are you separating all this? Who did that? Oh, well, you know, the client likes it this way and they want to make sure they see the specific line that talks about the specific overtime so that they know that they're not being billed. I'm like, but they would know that anyway, because anyway. in the invoice, it's still going to show you that. Right. So, like, what's the problem? Well, you know, Sally, once it's yours, you can do whatever you want. I'm like, okay, so thank you for very professionally telling me to <laughs> F off. Like, again, stupid. Then I send a, a separate email to the, like, the mid-tier manager who's who who will be also acquiring in this acquisition. And I'm like, hey, I've been going through your schedules and I see that the master, which is the one that gets imprinted, you know, week to week to week, I go, your master has openings all over it. Like, you told me you were fully staffed. Your master does not say that. Um, so what's going on with that? Well, Sal, let me tell you the history of this site really quick. I'm like, I don't need anything you just told me. Why are there openings? Because if you bring in, like, flex staff or... Like, let's say the client asks for extra hours, like on the spot kind of deal. That doesn't get put in the master schedule. You just do that all in the day-to-day -day schedule, the working schedule. Right, right. Because it's not going to get billed that way. So why would you put, just why? Dude, why? Again, another person who does too much and it hurts themselves. And they don't even think about it. Oh, I work like 80 to 85 hours a week. I go, yeah, because you're doing three and a half times more work than you need to, bro. This, this is a site that can be done and done for, like, everything that you need to do in six hours max. Max. Yeah, for the it's, week. It's not that difficult. Yeah, it's not that difficult. You just need to go there, shake hands and kiss babies, that's make it. sure that the staff sees you because that's your role, not mine. And then that's it. You just make sure that things are working the way they should, and then you're there for pretty much disciplinary purposes. You're not really there to do anything else. Because I end up having to double-check the schedule every week anyway. Because that's right, my role. Exactly. Okay. And I have to verify PTO. I have to ver time, verify sick time, leave of absences, medical, blah, 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 blah. I have to verify all that. You just have to make sure that I get that the loaf is given to me, that you baked me a loaf and I get to eat it. That's all that's all that, that's all it is. <laughs> and he likes the whole loaf. Don't, don't give, give me slices. slices. <laughs> I don't need the story and slice. I don't want to hear about the middle and the end and the thing. Just I buy the loaf total and then I consume it how I want to. Because that's my job. Yeah, he, and, of, and he doesn't get it. Bunch of spaghetti sauce. Yeah, a bunch of spaghetti sauce. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> it's just nuts. So, it's nuts. I don't yeah, get it. We're, we're going to chronological orders. Let me let me take the baton. Because yeah. I see on your Twitch feed. Please, yeah, yeah, I'm go, texting. Go I'm, I'm texting. Yeah, I, I see on his Twitch feed he's <laughs> texting. So please go I'm trying to get follow something my guy on, on, on Twitch at Just Sal Stuff. Uh, so, so now I'm, I'm in the office, I'm walking around, I, I sit and I talk to one of the HRCs and we're, we're chopping it up about her PTO time and how like, she's got something wrong with her PTO and she's trying to get it corrected. And but we're just chopping it up. Here comes Jennifer, baby D <laughs> and she comes up right next to me, right in the middle of the conversation. Literally, we are literally talking and she's like, are we going to go eat? And I'm like, yo, like. We're talking right now. Like, there's a conversation going on. You just interrupted. That's rude. And she's like, I don't care. Are we going to go eat? So I, I look at the HR, and she's like, yeah, I mean, we're talking. And she's like, I don't care. Can we go eat? <laughs> I'm just like, 
what is wrong with you? Who are you? Like, did yeah. you grow up in a barn? Like, what, what, <laughs> what, what's going on? So with the HR and I are like, okay, we'll just talk later, I guess. And she stood there the whole time staring me down, asking if I was done. I, I was like, what, what are you doing? Like, what? So the whole time, like, we're, I'm walking back to my office. We're talking. And she's like, you're supposed to have my back. Like, you know, you're, you're godfather to my daughter. <laughs> I said, that doesn't mean that I get to say that you're not being a, a jerk. <laughs> like, what is going on? Like, we, I was in the middle of talking. You do this to Sal all the time. And she's like, <laughs> She's like, it's different. I said, no, when people are having conversations, we cannot just barge in and just think your conversation is more important than anything. We could have been talking about something serious about work and you're coming in saying, are you ready for lunch? Like, what are, what are we, so then I'm like, cool. Like, I guess Sal, Sal, you ready to go? Cause apparently lunch has got to happen right now. And he's <laughs> like, yeah, let's go. Like, all right, cool. So it's about our time. It's a little early, but it's about our time. I'm like, all right, you know, we're going. So, like, she's walking us like a prison guard, right? Like, we're walking the mile with her. <laughs> like, she's, like, she's going to protect us on our way to the, to the cells. So um, we, get, we get in the elevator, and the whole time, I'm just talking to her about how rude she is. And she's not getting it. She's like, I'm not rude that I was just asking you a question. But I was in the middle of talking. So, like, I don't understand where, it, like, where these things fell off. You know, she's older, but not as old as us. So, like, there's there's a little bit of a gap there. But, like, where did, it, where did it fall off? Where did the common just being courteous, being nice, not interrupting people, where did that fall? Where did we go wrong in society where we just think our stuff's more important than anything else, that everything needs to stop because we need to say what we got to say? I have to blame it on social media. <laughs> as we're broadcasting on, like, multiple platforms um, right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> So it was ridiculous. And I think she finally got it because she finally said I was right. But it wasn't until we were on our way back. So we get to the cafeteria and um, I start asking everyone a question, like, is this rude? So I give them the scenario. And all of a sudden, she doesn't like the way I'm explaining the scenario. Yeah, because she, she don't look good. <laughs> She doesn't look good at all. Does not like it at all. So I'm asking, I asked the guys that always prepare uh, prepare our, our sandwiches, like, look, if you and I are having a conversation and your third person down there that handles the hot food comes over and just starts talking to you in the middle of us talking, is that rude? And he he's looking at her, right? And he's afraid to answer because she's got this look on her face. Like, she's she's going to mess someone up, right? Like, she's Baby D from Friday. Like, you don't want to mess with her. You want to give her a commentary without the rapper so she can get to it quicker. Like, you know, so he's not answering the question. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, he's smart. Your silence. Yeah. yeah, I get it. He's smart. I'm not. I don't, yeah, I don't care. Everyone's going to find out. So he doesn't answer the question. And he's just like, hey, man, I'm just here to make sandwiches. Like, can I make my sandwich? So then I go down to the hot food spot to find out what kind of soup they have. And then I ask her. <laughs> and I, her English isn't all there. I don't know how to explain this in Spanish. So she just gives me the, the smile and nod. So I said, okay, I'm not getting anything here. So I go back and there's a lady that's sitting there waiting for her sandwich. And I said, ma'am. And now, now Jennifer has walked away. She's walked now down to where the hot food is so she can go see like soups and all that. I said, scenario here is you and I are talking. Someone comes in and just interrupts the conversation to ask about lunch. Is that rude? And she's like, well, I need to know what the context is <laughs> of the reason. I said, is it rude? She's like, bare bones, that's rude. Yeah, with no context, yes. No context, that it's rude. So I yell across the cafeteria. I said, aha, <laughs> that one. <laughs> she's super embarrassed. She's trying not to, like, she wants to go run and hide somewhere. And I'm like, I've got someone here. So she comes over to try to intimidate this lady. <laughs> she just wants to just smack everyone. That Now I know where the baby gets it from. <laughs> so she comes over and she's like, what do you mean it's rude? And the lady's like, without knowing the context, like that, that's yes, that's rude. And she's and she tries to say the context is that she was hungry and that and she needed to go now. I'm like, you're not diabetic. You're you're not like there isn't something that's gonna happen to you if you have to wait an extra two minutes for me to finish my conversation to be like, hey, we're gonna go down and get some lunch now. Like, so there there was no life or death situation. There was no reason for you to interrupt that conversation. And again, <laughs> this happens to my guy Sal all the time. 
So yeah. Sal, so Sal, what's funny about Sal is when I try to tap him in on stuff, like he doesn't go full my side. He still tries to say neutral, but like this, this topic irritates him. So he's telling her that she's a rude jerk in the nicest. Yeah, without saying that, though, yeah. without saying that, because I'm just like, you're being a rude B-I-T-C-H. Like, just, you know, that's me. <laughs> Sal does not want to be part of that. So yeah. Sal, in the, the nicest way possible, but still, like, rude and, like, it stings. But, like, he said it so professionally, so smooth, that you can't be mad at him. <laughs> He's telling her about herself. And yeah, was, she's just like, well, I think, Sal, I, think wait, wait. I think it was the moment she's like, you're supposed to be on my side. We're Italians. And I was like, well... <laughs> You know, if you had the if you had these morals that you talk about, then you wouldn't have been doing what you were doing. <laughs> or like you... she said, she had morals. That was hilarious about it. And he was like, if you had the morals you had, you'd apologize. Because I told you, you need to apologize. But again, another individual stuck in their ways that they they just want to they just want to live life their way. Good for you. She did. I don't think she. Uh, I don't Be think strong. she apologized. I don't think she apologized though. Um, so I, I got to talk to her again because that just doesn't look good. Um, the HR lady we were talking to did not deserve that. I know that there's friction in the office all the time, but that was not. Yeah, deserved. for whatever reason, nobody likes anybody. So it's like, I, I, I don't <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these with people anymore. It's just, it's very frustrating. The drama in the office is is pretty intense. It got very palpable, like at some points. And I was like, good it, Lord, like. Yeah, it, it has not stopped and it won't stop because there's just a lot of stubborn people. Uh, so it is, it is some, but this doesn't help. This no. doesn't help the situation. And I'm about healing sometimes, uh, but this <laughs> doesn't help the situation. It, it needs to be rectified. And when I see her again, I'm going to talk to her that she needs to apologize right away. That needs to happen like yesterday. Yeah. So that's, that's hilarious. So then we switch from one HR to another one. Oh yeah. You can start with this one. So. One of our HR ladies, I come into the office and I see her down there talking to an ex. Oh, hey, ex, how are you? How's it going? I recognize you. I, I did it at first. He had a change of hair, did it at first. So I say, hey, man. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, what's up? What up? So I go upstairs. Didn't interrupt, didn't try to figure out what was going on. I go upstairs. And... Um, as I go upstairs, I go to my office. She then comes into my office. Like, not to explain what, what I just saw, but just to see, like, what, if I, like, saw what I saw. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, you know what, what's going on? Whatever, nothing. We shoot it up. Like, we don't even talk about it. She's like, oh, we just came over for some paperwork. Okay, cool. Whatever. She had to get back to her orientation. I had to start my day. So then, later in the day, she comes back. And Nahe's in my office, and we're just chopping it up. And she comes back, and I say, Nahe, do you know who was downstairs today? <laughs> and as soon as I tell him, he starts laughing. He's like, oh, my God, I roll. Like, why? Still, why? And she proceeds to explain to us that she has <laughs> a life insurance policy out on this guy. And that she brought him over so that she he can sign paperwork to make her like the person in control of the policy so he has nothing else he needs to sign going forward and that she has full control of it because she is paying on it. So, the question. Why would you have a policy on an ex? Her, her answer to that was, it's an investment. Everyone's gonna everyone's gonna die. And I'm just making sure that when he does, I get my revenge back from the four years that he treated me like garbage. Yeah. Quote, I get mine. <laughs> so full quote. Like, you are insane. And she is dead face, not saying yeah. like that, not, that that's normal. Pushing. People do normal that. Normal policy, yes. If like, I could do it for everyone, I would. All this other shenanigans. So Nahe and I are talking to her like, yo, you're crazy. Nahe's trying not to go too crazy. I'm going extra crazy on it. Like, you're insane. Like, what are you doing? Like, why wouldn't the money just go to the kids? And she's like, I'm going to take care of the kids. But, like, I need to pay off this. I need to pay off that. So I, I call for aid. Gondor <laughs> calls for I like the beacon. Yeah. And I said, yo, Sam. Yeah, I I walked into some now keep in mind 
I hear every almost everything in this office. Keep that in mind, okay? I hear like the pitter patter of insurance. This, why would you do that? I can't believe I saw him today, and I, I'm not really putting it together because I'm I'm checked out for the day. Like I'm not having a good day. Everything that's led up to this is already just not the the positives have not outweighed the negatives, and it's like it's you can see it. I, I have a heavy face coming out yes. so it's like it's yes. it's taking a toll so i get uh, the beacon is lit so you know enrique's about to get gorged in the chest with from the urukai you know from the super sword coming at him so i gotta come in there and i'm like well i know now he's in there because i i can hear that very distinct laughter clearly clearly the hr is in there because she can't she can't help herself I was like, okay, so let me let me figure it out. Let's go in. So they tell me this, you know, if you know, would you take out a life insurance policy on an ex uh, that you didn't like and you ended on poor terms or whatever? But for whatever reason, you're still talking to them. I'm like, you know how like back alley snake oil that sounds. That sounds so shady. I'm like, that's just he's weird. Not, I'm like, that's super weird. But I'm not like, being calm like I am now because I've had, you know, 12 <laughs> right. hours to decompress. I'm immediately at 130 miles an hour. I'm like, that's what you do? You do that with people? You know how, like, crazy you sound? You know how, like, backwards you sound? That's so stupid. Like, why would you say stuff like that? That's insanely stupid and you're dumb for doing it. I go, this is a man who hurt you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, he hurt you. He didn't, you didn't like the, not like physically hurt you, but like, you know, he scarred you emotionally and he didn't, it ended poorly. But like, you kept in contact and now you're, you're paying for his life insurance. Why? Life insurance is like 30 bucks a month. Like, what, what are you doing? I'm like, he can't do, oh, well, I'm investing. Invest, you don't, why don't you invest in like a business he'll start? Why don't you invest in getting his family groceries? Why don't you invest Bro. in paying for his insurance, actual insurance? Why don't you do Bro, an actual you, investment? That's not you investing. Enter, you're just you're just buying people. I'm I'm pretty sure there's a time where you could buy people, but like that time has passed. It's 2024. Don't blind yourself thinking that because you're doing this charity of giving this guy life insurance so that his his kids will be well off when when he's gone they'll be settled yeah his kids will be well off because they're going to get that and then sue your ass for the rest of it yeah that's what it's going to be because it's not you're not doing it for charity because if it's for charity you wouldn't take any of it that's what charity is okay that's what chair you don't take charity you're like you know what i'm gonna go donate some food some cans and you know what I'm going to grab these four cans because I really like that soup. So I'm going to show up with eight cans, but I'm going to take those four because that's the brand that I like. But I brought eight, so we're good, right? Everything's cool? Everything's good upstairs, right? Thank you. Cool. Oh, look, there's a light on me, so I guess we're all right. Everything's cool. That's so backwards. I'm Bro, investing when you hit in her, him. When you hit her with the... Why don't you make sure he can run a company or invest in him that way? <laughs> She's like, he, he's too stupid. He's too stupid to do that? that. I go, so what? So why don't you invest in his education? How about that? No, you're gonna you gonna do some back alley thing. Be see, and the thing is, and I'm I hate that I I'm getting so riled up by it. The thing is, is that I, I I get I get it. Up and up in his chair. I get. It. I'm like sitting upright. I get it. Okay, it's about control okay it's about power it's about wanting not repercussions reprimands for time lost because that's the only thing you're not getting back is time you have experience you have experience okay oh. the experience the social experience that didn't go well for whatever amount of time three four five years whatever it was makes you choose better choices as you move forward that's what social interaction is all about it just makes you a better person for yourself that's all you should care about. Don't don't like guise it or don't don't disguise it in some like oh well, but it's insurance and if he God forbid if he dies, his kids will be set. You I mean, do you have so little faith in his ability to do anything? That's why he has children that he can't provide for them. Also, he's like engaged to somebody. Do you know anything about that extended family? Like, get out of this man's life. Move on.
Go oh, collect the six God. chickens you have and the two dogs and the four cats or whatever the hell's in your apartment or your condo or whatever and go live your life. Get over oh, it. God. He's scum. He's garbage. He's clearly stupid. Because, like, why would I give an ex my social security number and the power of attorney in, a, in an insurance policy? Are you? How stupid are you? Dude, I mean, she is like the person who sends me the email that says, Hey, Sal, I captured the princess of Nigeria. The only way you can get her back is if you mail me two pallets worth of golden bars. Also, give me your bank account number. That's how stupid that person is, and that's exactly who she is. She's she's swindling the guy because he's too dumb to know any better. Oh, and then guising it under because when you talk to intelligent people, you have to you have to try and feel good about what you're doing because you're embarrassed. Just because you stood strong in your opinion doesn't make you any more dumb. It's like it's still dumb. <laughs> it's still dumb. And it's shady. And you should you should feel bad, but you don't because you got hurt. So this is how you create balance. So maybe in 40 years you'll feel better. You're still gonna remember it then? You think the guy's gonna croak tomorrow? And then of course I'm trying to like I leave because I was hot and I left. He was. He was. And, I, and I came back and I apologized and I'm like, let me try and approach this in a calmer way. And then it just turned into a different hot version. I was full. I was full Megan Stanley. I was doing. I was doing hot girl. Like it's just when he uh, when he came back and he's like, I might me, have come off a little harsh. Yeah. I might have come off a little too much on that. Like let me let me try to talk more calmly on this. I and then and then dying. it just got worse. I was dying. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was just it was like Evil Can Evil went off a big ramp of twenty cars, and instead of finishing, he just went into another ramp of ten cars. Like that's just what happened to me. Oh, my God. It got way worse. Because I was just like, and then, of course, it came to a point where, okay, if I'm going to talk to a ridiculous person saying a ridiculous thing, I'm going to see how far I can take the ridiculousness. So I'm like, why even pay for a life insurance? Why don't you just go pay for a hitman and get it over with? And she's like, no. No, I would never do that. I'm not a murderer. I don't kill people. I would never, never do that. with a finger in my face. I would never do that. Get, get out of here. First of all, clearly that's a joke. Who's going to seriously talk about murdering someone at work? What's wrong with you? Two, move on. Go save your $30 a month and maybe get life insurance for someone in your family. Why, about, why don't you do that? Dude, don't you have an extended... It's not just you and your mom. She does. She has a lot of life insurance plans. Don't you have, yeah, don't you have like nephews and <laughs> nieces? and like Doesn't your dog have somebody? Like Just... Go buy another dog. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm not your mother. I'm not your father. I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money. But when you ask me a question like that, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. I mean, that's too much. Of course, she's gonna say she didn't ask you that. I'm the one that brought you into the conversation. Yeah, well, I... But, <laughs> but the, it was a lot of ridiculous going on. I couldn't believe it. I had never heard someone saying they took a life insurance plan on their ex because. You know, he did them dirty for four years, and she's entitled to something. And, like, that's all he can give her is when he when he goes. He could leave her a boatload of money that she can chop up with uh, the kids and, and her, and, like, everything will be great. So I, it was it was weird to me, and uh, our our people in the, <laughs> in the in the chat and listening, please chime in. Let me know. Do you guys have any situations where that is something that you would do or that you've ever done or heard of anyone doing because it was so bizarre to me? And it, it she made it seem like this was like standard practice, right? This is the SOP. Yeah, like, I got I got so <laughs> heated and so like I got so verbally aggressive about this that Nahe left. Nahe just walked out <laughs> mid conversation. He was uncomfortable. He was. He's, He's like, like I'm, I'm not. I'm go. not. He goes awkward. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> He was so he just kind of just kind of got right, but you know, he's so skinny. He just kind of he just walked right through. I did, a little, I did a little sidestep. I'm like, nah, I, I just tag me. You can go. I got it. Or not. I'll say what he everyone was... else is saying. I just I knew that I was gonna get something that was very close to what I was saying, but because I always talk to her. This was a different perspective that she wasn't ready for, and she might have. She she didn't waver. I gotta give her her resilience on this. She did not waver once and be like, you know what? Well, that's because right. she that's Nothing. because she was cornered by 
two landowning males. Like she had to, you had to, you had to step up. There's no stepping down at this point because it's a, it's you a mistake. Step up. There's no, you, you have, yeah, you have to double, triple down and hold, Absolutely. hold your ground. And that's Arizona what she style. did. She stood tough. It was almost as like Jennifer, like they're the rush hour of the office. It, Jennifer held her ground the whole time. She at the end kind of told me I was right, but still didn't apologize. That was her holding tough as well. So we had both those things go on today in our office, which are hilarious. Um, <laughs> the Jennifer thing blew me with your reaction to, you know, I was talking to the HR of the office was hilarious. Uh, it was it was a good day. It was a good way to end the day. Because after that, like it was like maybe an hour and a half later, Sal's looking at his computer just defeated. <laughs> it's horrible, like, dude. Man, he, like, man. He, he comes up to my queue and he's like, hey, man, you all right? I'm like, no. No, I'm not. I'm all capped out. He goes, let's go, man. Let's just get out of here. And I'm like, whatever you say, guy. I'm like, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, you might, you, I might as well put my sweater on, put my backpack on, and you could drag me by the ankle. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be on the ground. You just drag me back to my car. Just throw me onto the third floor. Oh my god, it was. So it let's, was let's end, I'm gonna end this on a good note, okay? Because I'm tired of all this work shenanigans today. Yes. It's literally, I've had to mute myself and the stream like three times already, because I'm having all these conversations. Here, here's the scenario, everyone. We're washing it clean, okay? Washing it clean. We're starting over. Would you, <clears throat> for the rest of your life, live off of $20 an hour, no harm, life is good, everything's fine, or you'd get a million dollars a year, that's, that's your lifetime payment, but a snail is chasing you, and if it touches you, you die. Caveat. So, Caveat. With this... With this twenty dollars an hour, I'm, you're saying that I'm living fine. Yeah, you're living I'm not fine. Anything. Like, like There's it's, no issues. No, it's fine. You never lose the money. It's you're always guaranteed the forty hour work week. You know, you acquire PTO, sick time insurance. Like you can provide with that dollar amount without an issue, right? Or and again, we're living in like today. This is not like fantasy yeah. in the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. or like yeah, my twenty dollars yeah, yeah. in nineteen forty eight was great, but like twenty dollars right. today is whatever. No, it's today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you trade your job to be on a twenty dollar an hour job, you know, and then but you're happy for doing that, and you can still provide. Or you'll get a million dollars a year instead of twenty dollars an hour, which is like what forty, thirty eight, thirty six grand a year. So it's thirty six yeah. grand a year, give or take taxes, or a million dollars a year. But the snail is chasing you. A regular snail. Not so a crazy big mutant snail. Not, not a regular. Terrible, no, not regular. No, regular. I saw it in the forest yesterday, snail. And if it touches you with its little, its little antennas, you're, that's it. You're toast. It's over. So, where is the snail starting at? Is he in the house already? You don't know where the snail is. Don't know. I can never see him. Unless you see it. Like, oh, there it is. Like, can I take him out if I see him? You can't touch, take, define, take him out. Like, kill the snail? Like, no, it's immortal. Yeah. It's immortal. It's immortal. So yeah. he's never dying. Yeah, it's always going to be chasing you for your life. Sal, you know what, man? I'm a gambler, buddy. I'm taking that million bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the million bucks. Because I, think, I can I th just keep moving. I can just keep moving. The snail yeah, will so never here, catch me. Here's the funny thing about that. You talk about moving like, let me just, I'm going to juke it, right? New house. No, no, new house. I'm saying... They found someone did the math where a snail could go about 1.25 miles a day, give or take, or a year. It go 1.25 miles a year. A year? A year. Oh. So I would fly to California. Yeah. Probably not California. Probably Arizona's cheaper property cool. taxes, and then wait 40 years and fly back to Illinois. And then I'm good. That's my life. Right. He just went. He's going or, towards Arizona. Or I could just go. Come back. I could wait until it gets halfway. And then fly back to make it turn its face around. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I'm taking the million dollars. I'm a gambler. And yeah. you know what? If the snail touches me when I'm old, I, I live you're a good, good life. Right? I think my, my big thing is, is if the f snail figures out how to like get on a movable object, I might I might rethink it. Even then, though, I don't need this. I don't need the snail to take like public transportation and then come find me at work or something. As long as my ex didn't take out a policy on me, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, I don't know, ninja snail. 
I don't know that it's there until I see it. I'd have an issue sleeping initially. Especially if we haven't planned to like move out yet or like I don't know how far it is from me already. Like you I'd have to plan based on when I saw it. Because what if I fly somewhere and it's that's where it started and now I'm closer to it kind of deal. Because like, you don't know where it's starting. See, I forced myself to really like think beyond what I should. I would sleep in like a casket with like oxygen mask and stuff so that he wouldn't be able to get in. In a casket. I would sleep. I would be who's like the Undertaker. Like, he's, who's going <laughs> to nail it shut? He's, the, the snail's just going to squeeze through there. It's like an octopus. He is not. No, it's going to be an airtight thing. I'm going to have an oxygen thing built. In. I got a million bugs. I can do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, you're like Jody, Jody Foster. You got a panic room yes. for the snail. I have a full snail panic room. You're not getting into that. It's going to be airtight. And then when I get up, I'm going to come up like the Undertaker and just sit up. I don't know if I can sit up because of my gut. But I'll, I'll, whatever <laughs> I can do to try to sit up, I'm going to sit up. And then um, he's gonna be on top of the casket. I'm gonna. He's gonna fly. Now, if we're talking the 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 snail from Training Day, maybe we have a, a problem. Training, because that's training Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, saying I don't goodness. want my ex to take out a policy on me. No, you know, I might have put her through some. The only one who's benefiting from my death is my wife and my children. <laughs> you can get out. You mean you're not signing the paperwork? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> my ex from 10 years ago will not benefit from my death. They well, should be happy that they even know how to spell my name. You took four years of her life. Well, you owe her something. You took mine too. Deal with it. Good trade. <laughs> see you See you next Tuesday. I'm telling her, like, yo, we're going to bring this up on the podcast. And she's like, you better not, blah, blah, blah. So then he hears that. He's like, we're not talking about it in the podcast. Yeah, I'm not bringing it up. All right. Like, okay, I'm not going to bring it. And then all of a sudden I see the topics and I see it's one of them. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. You got to learn how to compartmentalize. Can't I can't. There's too, there's too much happened all at once. Too much happened in the day. Broken you arm. You decompressed. I, I had no, I had no opportunity to. I was just listening to like rage metal music all the way home to try and like just you focus my that. energy. You I couldn't do somber. If I did somber music, I was gonna fall asleep and get into an accident. You I couldn't do. There was nothing that was gonna no, knock me out. No, you, you should have did like some meditation music. No, that no, was too far. Something. My brain was overlapping because I was so inactive in regards to like my regular thought that all it was was broken arm. The new sites suck. The, the, I had an officer that tells me that they've never clocked in or clocked out for like eight months, but their paycheck's fine, so what's the big deal? I, 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 I had another guy that I spent like three hours strategizing with him about, okay, you got removed from this site or this site ended. Here's the plan that we're going to do for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You'll get calls. He just shows up randomly. He's like, oh, I forgot the plan. Can we talk about it? No, I'm busy. You don't even have the... Common courtesy to like message me or call me, say, Oh, you're available. Can we go over it? No, you just show up. And this is exactly what happened to Germania. There's people just show up and just do yeah. whatever they want. All, all the time. All I'm the like, time. What the hell? We just had this problem. Like, you don't know why this person's here. You don't know why he's asking for it. He just walks past the front, comes right to my cube. Sal, can we talk? Oh, That's is right. this, this is my moment? I'm dead now? This is what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, and then oh, and so then the it, interruptions earlier. Then 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 I get the 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 huge exclamation point of of this life insurance shenanigans. And then of course, like it's the end of the month. I'm dealing with the hospital bills. It's just it's just all added up. It all added up. Right, but it's just yeah. like I don't I hate that. And then like now I'm here and I can tell it in a funny way, but I can't vent. Like I can't get this off my chest to my wife because she doesn't deal with that type of like. No right. A, not not aggression, but. She doesn't yeah. deal with like the way that, the way that I choose to vent is just downgrading the people that I've talked to today, like to a point of like, Sal, you just stop. Like you're not you're not really doing anything productive, or it doesn't sound like you're doing anything productive. You're just saying all these curse words about the person that you dealt with and just degrading them as a person because you're so frustrated as as the way that you are. And I was like, so uh, we stopped doing that long, long time ago, like five, six, seven years ago. That I'm like, whatever issues I have at work, I, I have to figure out a way to get it out of my system. Because I can't go through you because you can't handle my impact on you verbally. That's not directed to you, but directed around you. <laughs> Plus your own job and you're taking care of the kids and we do we do all the house. And you know, there's a lot of, everyone's got stuff going on. Like I don't need to add that stuff to you. And then you don't have, we're just going to ping pong off each other. That's, that's, that's not healthy that's for it. anybody. 
That's so it. I just need to. I just, you know, that's why I was streaming so much way back before this job. No, I get that would it. be the spot it. where so I, I could like vent down. I've got I've got some comments here for you. So yeah, hit me up here. All right, so we, we got Ellie who I'm going on tour with. She comes in and says, "Poor Sal, she's an avid listener." Thank you. Uh, she <laughs> says, "Processing your feelings is important, Sal," and she's like, "Spread your wings." Anyway, yes, no, yes, feelings are important. I get it. That's not me mocking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just still getting it out of my system. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, next, man, next question. <laughs> Nah, he said he would take the million dollars after first saying twenty dollars an hour. After good for him. you, open up that business yeah. and hire me as a manager. Next person. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I think that's it right now. I think. Okay. Uh, that's oh right. well. Oh, says they can't sue when he's okay with this. He's talking about the kids. Yeah, I'm sure that's how they do it in court. Okay, next question. <laughs> that was it. We were all caught up on any questions or comments we had on the TikTok feed. Don't put baby in the corner, right? That's the phrase. <laughs> Don't put baby, Don't put in, baby the in the corner. <laughs> Oh man, dude, we're over time on that one. Yeah, I felt like I could fight a bear. Like it was just like it's, it's crazy. The amount of adrenaline that was going through me. I haven't oh, opened up that man. playlist in a long time. Long time. I, I I bet, I bet. But I just the, the picture of you driving, like that should be the thumbnail. It's like I'm just screaming. Die hard with a vengeance. <laughs> just you driving the cab just in the Dago just pissed. Yeah. That could be Samuel. So <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the tone appropriately. Please, please. <sighs> more anyway, of a, more of a mocha. Yeah, yeah more of a mocha. <laughs> a nice mocha. But yeah, thank you, everyone, as we wind down into this conclusion. Uh, we appreciate you all being out there. Uh, we appreciate you with your chatter, subscriptions, comments, likes, dislikes, sharing, all that jazz, messages. It's all good in the long run of things, no matter what social media algorithm says to you. Um, we're having a blast as we creep closer to 80 and eventually episode 100. Uh, again, we just smashed out two more subscribers to 113, so that's really cool as we crawl yeah, our way no, up into our, our bigger goals, which is great. We have a lot of hours that have been watched. I think we, I think we literally passed the 1,000 hours watched metric. Which is really cool. Uh, again, a thing that I never, ever would have thought of. Um, yeah, we literally are just, we're hairs behind it. Hairs behind having a thousand hours of our videos watched so far. I don't have a thousand videos out, so someone's watching it a lot. A lot. <laughs> so, so that's great. And we really, really do appreciate all that. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's it, dude. That's all I, I feel. I feel, I feel like at the end of the day, the way it was when I saw you at the computer, and I'm like, Sal, you ready to go, dude? Let's, I'm, re let's just I'm go. ready to go. So let's just, let's just go. Yeah. With that being said, we'll catch you on the flip side, and as always, stay classy. Yeah. You know what? Detroit's okay today. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're Detroit's all right. okay today. Someone Baby else. Good night, Sal. Someone else has my attention. Detroit's all right. It's the, the other people in the office. The Red Wings suck, act, though. But yeah, that's, act, uh, that's right. That's right. They're acting, they're acting right. very Detroit now. That's right. Drop your Detroit. I, okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Goodbye, everyone. See ya. <laughs>